Now I want to talk to you a little bit about the electronics and, and driving the power chair. Um, this can be something that can be intimidating for caregivers and end users alike. We've really tried to make our interface very user friendly. We have actually four speeds. There's an outdoor fast, which is your fastest, which op offers the six miles an hour. And then we also have starting at indoor slow. In each profile, you use this little attenuator and you can kind of dial in the speeds and make it slower uh, or faster depending on the situation. Additionally, we have some shortcuts here. So there's a key one and a key two. This shortcut key two takes you to your seating. So you can utilize by pulling back. This is your tilt and you can kind of scroll through the different seating functions. That's your recline and you would just pull or push to come in and out of the recline. That's your seat elevate at your power legs and you can also have the option to do seat and legs together. Um, if you didn't want to go through the joystick, which is an option, you could also just utilize what we call our eye access box. So basically you're going to push buttons here, pull back for the tilt, push forward to come out of it, and you can go all the way through your recline, power level elevating seat, power legs. This is also customizable, so we can have multiple pages and screens of functions. So you can even have Bluetooth functions, which I'll get into in a second, uh, listed here, mode change from here, and we also have a toggle option. So instead of these push buttons, it will stick up like my finger and you can just kind of engage the button like that. One of the great shortcuts that I like, you could be all the way up in your outdoor fast, cruising along, and then you come up to a doorway or a, a tight environment or in a store where there's lots of people. You can very quickly press this number one key here and it takes you to your slow profile and allows you to maneuver uh, nimbly through a tight spot. Everything on here is customizable. Um, you can make these buttons do tilt, recline, mouse clicks. Um, I don't want to overwhelm with too much info, but just know that there's a lot that can be customized and tailored to you and you'll work with your ATP on that. So Bluetooth. Um, this is something that is, I feel like, a game changer for a lot of patients because when you start to lose access to um, your joystick, when you switch to a head array or a light touch joystick, something of that nature, typically now you, you're not able to use your phone, use the touch screen on your phone, and we want you to be able to do everything that you could before. And now you can access it through your chair. So I will go into the Bluetooth mode here. There's a Bluetooth operation setting. You can see there's a couple of different choices here. Mouse is what's used for your Windows uh, 8 and newer um, devices. So your computers, uh, PCs, those, those type of units, laptops, Android, Galaxy, all use the mouse emulation. Uh, assistive switch control is what's used for Apple products. So your iPhones, your iPads, iMacs. Uh, we'll use that assistive switch control. So basically it's a very simple process to pair your device. You're going to go into the mouse section. You're going to check that and you're going to come out of here and you're going to go into your Bluetooth operation. Mouse connections, new, and now the screen is going to pull up and you're going to see this mouse emulation mode. And you also have an ID at the top here and that's what you'll use to pair. So when you go into your device, you'll turn on your Bluetooth, you're gonna search, it's gonna say chair 9250 or something along those lines, whatever your chair ID is. Then you'll pair it, very similar to pairing any other Bluetooth devices with your phones. It's gonna ask for a code. You're gonna say yes in both screens, and then voila, you are paired. Uh, additionally, you have the, this will control the cursor in mouse mode and you can use a variety of different ways to click. So you could do like a double left and it will put it into a, a clicking mode just through utilizing the joystick. Now keep in mind this can also be done with switches from a head array, micro joystick, foot control. This same setup will work depending on what drive control that you use.